Many among the 11 million registered voters appeared to heed a call by a corrective of 10 candidates to stay away from voting booth during the first round of the presidential election in Madagascar. The country's election management body, CENI, unveiled the provisional participation rate late Thursday. So across the 250 polling stations, there are 131,521 people registered and 51,422 people voted. So that's a participation rate of 39%. The CENR is expected to proclaim the provisional consolidated results between by November 25th. It will then be up to the country's high constitutional court to proclaim the official results of the election at the beginning of December. A runoff has been scheduled for December 20th. If none of the candidates attain more than 50% from Thursday's vote, Speaking on, on behalf of 10 of 12 opposition candidates, Hajo Andriania Narivero praised Thursday, November 16th, what he called voters' maturity. He cited observers' reports, which put turnout at around 20%. This proves that the, Mada the Malagasy people have shown their political maturity by staying at home and heeding the call of the corrective and all the nation's vital actors not to endorse an election that was stolen. Incumbent President Andri Lajowarina has voiced the confidence in being re-elected, brushing off weeks of protests that have agitated the Indian Ocean Island nation. Civil society groups, including union students, religious leaders, had called for a, a postponement of the election. The, situ the situation was calm in the capital, Antananarivo, where authorities imposed a night curfew on the eve of the election after the touching of some polling stations late Tuesday. Tensions was palpable at some polling stations where some people refused to talk to journalists. At one polling station, people warned each other against making comments after being approached by an association press journalist. Andrila Jowarina is seeking re-election for a second term and is riding on a record of being the builder president for infrastructure projects that some say have turned into white elephants. A violent crackdown on protests by security forces ahead of the election has tainted his democratic credentials while a struggling economy, lack of social services and widespread poverty weigh down his popularity. Madagascar needs democratic maturity, the only democratic way to get into power today and I am fighting for it is elections, said the Jawarina after casting his ballot Ambatobi, a rich district of the capital. The Jawarina first took power in 2009 and served as president in a transitional government until 2014 after the previous leader, Mark Lavalomanana, was removed in a military-led coup. He made a return in 2018 when he beat Lavalo Manana in a runoff.